guys, Etika from the Etika World, and we're here to bring you some more Attack on Titan. Well, not multiplayer, but single player. I do like the single player sessions, and I'm going to see if I can integrate those more into the multiplayer ones as well, because it is somewhat of a different feeling when I do them from the single player perspective rather than playing with them in a clusterfuck of friends. Either way, now, the previous video, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a fan shout out, or rather, I shouldn't call you guys fans, or rather video viewer shout outs. And um, I, I really wanted to simply because some of you guys are unsure if I read your comments or not, so I'm not gonna be able to read all of them, obviously, or at least read them all on camera for you, obviously, but I do read every single one. And so um, if you want your comments to be read in the next video, definitely leave a little, a, a, a little blurb, you know? I'll definitely try to see if I can shout you out. But anyways, looking at the top comments here for the last video about the Shrek video, um, Boss of Tron says, turn your music down mental notes jack north what the fuck is a sonic yeah it's a meme that spawned a while ago and now it's popular it's pretty funny to me because sonic is my favorite game series skyotic he's actually the guy that created the shrek is life shrek is love video interpretation of it i don't know whether to be impressed that he did this or be creeped out that he managed to find my channel but i guess you get props dude just that was really disturbing Good job. I'm sure that was the intention because you, you you definitely disturbed me and a lot of my people as well. Mount or Mr. Etmer says, never thought that you would talk about an SFM video. I have no idea what the hell that means. Um, Shade 066 says, quote, I highly suggest that you do not watch the video because that shit is really disturbing. Thank you, Redica. Now I have to watch it. I should have I should have warned everyone more, but then again, you know, there's no way for me to avoid telling you dudes, and there's no way that you dudes are not going to. I'm surprised so many of you did watch it, considering the amount of people that really do click links in the description. I saw it, what the fuck is this? Same thing I said first time, Super Galsy. You're actually one of the longest time fans that I've ever had, longest time viewers I've ever had. Um, you always watching my shit, dealing with the bullshit that I throw out there. And I wanna thank you, man, for sticking around me this long. Um, he said, when I said that you got mad at 115, I tried to understand what he was referencing, but I couldn't, sorry. Try to clear it up for me in the comments of this video. Karino Kosaka says, yes, a new video on my birthday, best present ever. Karino, I want to say something about you, but I don't want to get thrown in jail because you might just be a minor. So you know what? I'm going to keep it to myself. But um, I think most of you can understand the wavelength that I'm coming from here. Anyways, um, it's got a lot of comments too. Happy birthday. And of course, who doesn't love Karino? Oh, man. My little sister can't be this much jailbait. Anyways, you linked and watched the wrong version. It's some guy that re-uploads it with his voice. Where the original is better and still available by searching Shrek is love, Shrek is life. I did see the original. I checked it out. And, you know, even though the video that I linked wasn't the original and the awesome guy who made the video here, Skyotic, he didn't... This isn't the original thing that spawned the meme, but I think it was a pretty damn good interpretation. Now, I've seen the original. I think this one's sort of funnier. Noodler. Now, Noodler, I know who the fuck you are, man. People have been talking about you for a while on my videos. He's apparently one of the best AOT players in the world. I watched some of his videos. This man has skill. That's for damn sure. Like, oh, man. Anyways, he says, they increase the hitboxes in single player for some reason, or rather he decreased them on the multiplayer maps, which is why you keep dying horribly to grabs and bites. So in single player, you're way more likely to get... What does get? And um, you are below its damn chin when you got bitten. Also, if you think hard reaction time is fast, try playing abnormal. Trost and Colossal Titan do not count. You know what, Noodler? I'm gonna leave that kind of crazy, off the wall, suicidal, recon corpse garrison type shit to you and Chrysix. I ain't messing with it. I, I'm, I'm, I'm freaking casual, all right? I'm, I'm, I'm not survey corpse, man. I'm garrison. No, no, fuck the garrison. I'm military police, man. I'm the furthest away, and it ain't even about my skill. I lied again, that bitch. I ain't gonna tell you. He said take on abnormal. No thanks. No thanks. No, look, you can handle the crazy shit. <laughs> Anyways, um, enough of that. Anyway, I'm sorry if some of you guys were pissed that I did that, but I'm, I just wanted to give you guys a little shout out. Anyways, let's get into the game of AOT right now. Playing with Levi once again. Uh, let's get into it. Now um, I've seen some of your videos on. You uh, <laughs> some of your videos. I've seen some of your comments on how to get better, just how to play more safe. But uh, I gotta admit, man, since I don't do this all the time, it's kind of tough for me to practice stuff usually. So if I don't pick it up within like a session that I do when I like designated to play, it, it's not gonna be easy for me to learn since I play so many things and I do so many things on a regular basis nowadays trying to keep my channel from dying here. As some of you can notice, the, the AOT videos are kind of dying in views, so, and I think that's normal, you know, it's not, I don't think it has anything to do with the video's quality, since the videos at one point were generating for like, for months, over 10,000 views each. Most of them in the 20,000, 30,000 range. And you know, I think it's just naturally because of the hype of AOT dying down. So that, that's all normal, I think. 
nothing to be too concerned about in terms of my channel and the quality. And that's one thing I think I can feel comfortable about, knowing that usually it's not an issue with the quality of my channel, it's just an issue with the frequency of stuff that I post, and also an issue with maybe, uh, I mean, I don't know, I, I don't know, I see. But thankfully I can say, maybe, maybe I have to try different ideas too. I gotta try different ideas with the channel, you know? I definitely have to increase my flexibility. Got him! You ain't getting me, bitch. But yeah, I'm sure, I'm, I'm absolutely 100% positive that um, AOT hype will definitely pick up again once. Oh, I, I think I remember, oh, come on, bastard. I remember Noodler in the comments of the last video saying that if I do the over-the-head trick with one hook, it'll kill him. Oh. Anyways, um, I'm sure that the hype for AOT will definitely pick up again once Season 2 is announced. That's a, that's a guarantee, pretty much. But um, that's the question. When is it going to be announced, you know? Probably no time soon, that's what a lot of people are saying. There's been no announcement on it. If anything, the only thing AOT that's getting hyped up is the English dub, which I'm not exactly 100% excited about. Not because it's going to suck, but because I really don't care. Because, I, I mean, well, I shouldn't say I don't care. It's not, I don't think the English dub is going to be bad, so to speak. I just, it just doesn't really have my attention. I'm not really focused on the English dub too much. Um, I'm just focused on the anime for season two, basically, because I heard a lot of crazy shit happens. I'm actually going to make a speculational video because I know that the, the manga obviously is going to depict the anime's events as accurately as it can, but I don't know. I don't feel like reading the manga at all because it's going to water down the experience for me. I mean, you gotta remember, the, like I said in the previous video, the AOT series was not highlighted because of the manga. It's existed for years. I remember reading some panels of AOT a couple of years ago, if anything, um, on, on the export of 4chan, you know? And um, I remember seeing some panels of it, and then only because of the anime is the reason why Attack on Titan is big, not because of the manga. And as much as you want to debate that, the manga was popular in Japan, that's for sure, but the only thing that put that thing on the spot here in America, per se, is because of that awesome anime. One of the most awesome, revolutionary fucking shit. <laughs> and it's understandable, too, because the anime is very modern, it has a lot of modern techniques and art styles inside of it. And even though the anime doesn't really have that much character possession at the moment, character progression at the moment, because it's a very short anime, I mean... It's only 20-something episodes. Oh, come on! B big boy! Big boy. I was nowhere near that. Anyways, the anime... Oh, man, by the way, I apologize, guys, for the background noise here because I, I know for a fact that the shit, the fan of, of my laptop working is going to get into the video. I just hope you guys can deal with that. There wasn't any negative comments for it before, but I definitely do apologize. That's usually why I have the music so loud, so I can try to drown out the sound of my laptop fan with the music that I play in the background. I apologize. But anyways... Um, what was I what was I referencing earlier? I can't remember exactly, but uh, uh, can't remember. Oh wow, come on, I had that. I was on the wall. You son of a bitch, you seen these crazy grabs? I was on the wall, man. That son of a bitch grabbed me off the wall. Like, what the hell? But, yeah, the, the, the manga is not what made AOT hype. It was the anime all day. So you can't blame me for wanting to wait until the anime comes out. I mean, as much as some of you guys may think the story deserves to be told as soon as possible, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a guy that wants to wait. Because when the anime season 2 does come out, not to brag or anything, or not to like make it seem like anyone who read the manga is weak-minded, but I'm basically going to be one of the only people left who does not know the story when the anime comes out for season 2. That is, if it even does come out, which is a real big scary thought to have in your mind because, you know, is the anime in season two going to come out? Of course they left it in a way where it could, but there are plenty of anime that have been um, anticipating season twos that have never had them actually happen. And it's kind of scary to think that AOT may come that way. Of course, reaction time. Uh, I, I really hope it isn't going to be like that because obviously this anime not only is good for my channel, but it's, it's amazing in itself. Like, I wasn't even doing episode reactions when the anime first came out. I wish I had been because it, I never knew that it would be so so intense, you know? It's been a long time since the anime has made me as hype as Attack on Titan did. And Attack on Titan is now in my top three anime, which is also up there with Hunter x Hunter. Now, I consider Hunter x Hunter one of the best anime that my eyes have ever gazed upon, but of course that's suggestive. I'm not going to say it's one of the best anime ever made. I'm not going to say that because that's subjective, you know? 
everyone likes what they like and you know just because somebody says one thing is the best if there aren't hard numbers to prove it like maybe it, like there can be an anime that's best in sales per se but you can't say an anime is the best anime ever just because you think it's the best anime ever no nah, no nah, i'm not gonna say that but one of the best anime that i ever watched with one of the best formulator stories is hunter x hunter and attack on titan some of you may think i'm small-minded about that but that's just my preference i don't like overly complex animes like um, for example, like animes like Ghost in the Shell, not really my kind of thing. I don't really like fantasy too much. It's gotta have some sort of realism to it. Oh! Did you see that? His, I was about to get grabbed right there. He was about to touch me. He was gonna touch me. That giant was going to touch my little ass, but nope, that was, that was smooth. Um, yeah, I'm not exactly... What was I talking about? I always lose my chain of thought whenever I get hype about something crazy happening that happened in this game. But um, but, um I, I guess I was just talking about anime and like my perception of what's good. Like some of you guys may think that I am small-minded for not liking anime like Ghost in the Shell and whatnot. I mean, I watched some episodes of Ghost in the Shell. I'm not going to say it was a bad anime, but I couldn't keep up. It didn't have my interest for too long. The, too much fantasy, and I begin to lose interest because I don't have the patience for it. I used to. I used to have the patience for a fantasy anime. I really did, man. I'm telling you the honest to God truth. But as as I matured and, you know, I'm trying to get my life... Well, I shouldn't say as I matured, but right now I'm in a phase where I'm trying to get my life straight as much as possible. I'm trying to make YouTube into a living. Into a, I'm trying to really progress with my YouTube career. And, you know, it, some of you may think that YouTube isn't really exactly a great medium for building a career, but actually it is. As long as you follow the rules, don't get your shit banned. You, you'll be fine. Um, and that's just the choice I made because, you know, after being done with college, I figured, hey, man, let me let me invest my time and energy to this. I really love video making. I always have. But um, since I'm working really hard and trying to establish myself, and that means I don't really have the patience right now to keep up with anything too fantasy oriented or something that's too long. So for example, anime like One Piece, which I've been told by France, a member of my squad, is really, really good. France has told me multiple times, One Piece is one of the best anime that's in existence, and I'm not doubting him at all, because that anime's been going on for a while now. Although I guess length of time doesn't determine if the anime's good or not, but I did watch One Piece at one point, and it was incredible. But the series just went on for too long, it got a little too complex, and I, I just didn't feel like catching up with it again. But that doesn't mean I won't in the future. Just like with other anime that I don't watch right now. Just because I don't watch them right now doesn't mean I won't in the future, but when I have more time, when I'm more comfortable with the state that my life is in, because right now my life is kind of like in a sink or swim stage. Like right now the adrenaline is on. I either have to make YouTube work or find something else I'm going to do with my life. It's that serious. So I mean, when everything is settled, when everything is done, taken care of, then I'll probably be able to indulge more into a heavily fantasy based um, anime. Because right now, they are too complex for me, they're too long for me, and they require too much attention span for me to enjoy them. That's why Attack on Titan is doing so well. It's a short series, it's brand new, the animation is incredible, and even though it's kind of short, it does dive deep into the action, the drama right away, so there's really no build up. And I guess it can kind of mean that you don't really care about the characters too much, but that's the thing, even though AOT doesn't last for too long, and there's certain characters that come and go and get killed off right away, I can't help but have a little place in my heart for some of them, you know? And AOT does that really well because you're automatically thrown in a situation where people are dying in such brutal, cruel ways, so you can't help but feel bad for them, you know? And it's fantasy. I understand some of you were saying, oh, you know, AOT, you know, you said you don't like fantasy anime, but AOT is fantasy. I understand that. But the amount of fantasy that it is, is just enough to where it'll have you interested, but not enough to where you'll be like, wow, okay, this is way too complex for me, you know? That's how I feel about it anyways. But um, I guess it's all up to opinion. I'm going to end this video here because it's about 15 minutes long, but I will talk to you in the next one. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one, and wish me luck with taking down these titans, man, because oh, loud, loud.